So does the data about my DNA, my brain, my body, my life, does it belong to me or to some corporation or to the government or perhaps to the human collective? Humans are now hackable animals. You know, the, the whole idea that humans have, you know, this, they, they have this soul or spirit and they have free will and nobody knows what's happening inside me. So whatever I choose, whether in the election or whether in the supermarket, this is my free will, that's over. Today, we have the technology to hack human beings on a massive scale. Yeah, I mean, everything is being digitalized. Everything is being monitored. In this time of crisis, you have to follow science. It's often said that you should never allow a good crisis to go to waste because a crisis is an opportunity to also do good reforms that in normal times people will never agree to. But in a crisis, you see, we have no chance. So, 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 so let's do it. Surveillance. People could look back in 100 years and identify the coronavirus epidemic as the moment when a new regime of surveillance took over, especially surveillance under the skin, which I think is maybe the most important development of the 21st century, is this ability to hack human beings, to go under the skin, collect biometric data, analyze it and understand people better than they understand themselves. This, I believe, is maybe the most important event of the 21st century. One of the features of this fourth industrial revolution is that it doesn't change what we are doing, but it changes us. So we will see definitely a lot of anger uh, already now, but probably increase by the end of the year. Uh, because this crisis will be with us until we really have found a uh, remedy. So um, we have to prepare for a more angry world.